Hi guys, it's Marcus and welcome back. Um, today's video is a little thing I've thrown up deck quick. And it's a little story time, yes. I have no acrylics on, so don't judge me, okay? Um, it is something I just threw up because um, I wasn't going to upload today. Um, for that reason, I didn't know. There we go. It's good for the reason I didn't know what I was meant to record. So, um... Uh, I'm just doing a little story time. I have two stories I'm going to tell you. And this video is literally going to be like five minutes long. Um, just because it's literally made today. But um, I hope you guys like it. So carry on watching if you would like to know about my story times. Ugh. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so the first time, the first story time I'm going to tell you is about my eyebrow. Um, what I kind of done is the reason why I won't do a makeup tutorial for you guys today is because of um, my oh my eyebrow, because I normally used I used to go to a professional, but they was taking them way too thin, and I would say just take off what needs, it. and I was walking out with like pencil thin eyebrows. Um, so I started taking it into my own hands and I did use to pluck but I used to just get like very like sores, I like little sores off it and I would bleed from every like hair I plucked out. I would get a little dot of blood and it wasn't very pretty, you know what I mean? I was like, okay, so I went out and took it into my own hands and bought the Nair um, Sensitive Hair Removal Cream and I've been using that for the past like two months maybe and um, as I tried it I put it on I've done it loads of times I put it on around my eyebrows what needs coming off and I did it and um it just burned I mean like it burns it's like the second I put it on about two minutes like a minute later it was unbearable but I was like maybe it's just because my hair is thicker there I haven't done it in like two weeks maybe that's why no no that's not why um, it burnt me. I took it off because I, I was crying how bad the pain was. I, I had to wash it off. The second I put cold water on it. It felt like someone had took, um, cold, like, an, not cold water. Hot water out of a kettle and poured it on my eyebrows. It was a horrible pain that I wish I never have to feel again. So, I'll just zoom in and I'll show you guys what it did. Like, this is, like, oh, my, my mascara on my face. But this is, like, too, like, this is, like, this happened on, uh, I did it on Thursday. It's now Monday. Like, it's, bl it blistered me. It cut me. It did everything. It, I had yellow blisters. I had cuts. I just hope it doesn't scar. But that's the reason why I won't do a makeup tutorial and why I'm not wearing foundation today. Because it irritates it and when it, I came to wipe it off I tried to do, record yesterday and um it just wasn't working it just the second I put the foundation on it was burning I was like yeah I can't put myself through that pain I was like it's really unbearable so I was like okay no foundation I'm just gonna do the use I have no concealer on I literally did brows literally that are coming off because I've been sweating which is the other part of the story time but, um, come on, lighting. There we go. Um, oh my god. Um, so it's just, I just, I've literally just got brows, highlight, contour, and lips, and mascara. But, you know, just, just don't use the nail crack removal cream. Even if it's sensitive, don't use it. Like, I'd probably just, just use it on my arms and legs, to, like if I'm going away or I can't be bothered shaving because I'm lazy. That's the only time I'll be doing it. So, you know. So, the second part <laughs> about the story time literally. Oh, lighting. Focus. Okay. So, the second part of this video is literally just. Um, happened just before I got told that I was. I go to college, I study hairdressing, um, and I go to college every other Tuesday, and I was in last Tuesday, 
and one of my friends who I work with as well said to got told she's moving to a Monday and we're like oh on our own she goes yeah so I was like okay and I get a phone call on Wednesday saying I'll be the one moving on to a Monday I was like okay I don't mind like it is a bit of you know a bugger but you know we just gotta triumph through it so I was like okay maybe I'll do the better but I did it and um I was meant to be in today okay so I'll go in and I wake up dead early, do my wig, which I have glued on, like, if I pull this ink on off, I, like, I am head to toe done, and, um, just know it, I get then to go, why are you here? I go, well, um, someone told my manager that I'm doing college on a Monday now, and you go, oh, yeah, but that's not, yeah, I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, that'll be after the exam. I was like, so next Tuesday, she goes, yeah, I need you in next Tuesday, and, um, then I'll tell you when to come in. I was like, oh, okay then. And, um, then she says, yeah, the two of you will be working the Monday. I'm like, wow, wait, what minute? I was like, what? I was like, that's just gonna mess with our, um, what's it called? Rota. Because the rose is being written out now. I was like, that's just going to mess with it. I was like, I'm, I'm meant to be working, you know, working the extra day because I have an 18th birthday I'm paying for. So I was like, that, it couldn't have come at any better time. I was like, so am I going to lose that day? I was like, I hope I, do, hope I don't. Do you know what I mean? Because it is like, it is helping me, you know, with like paying for my 18th, you know, as you guys know, if you you might not know, but I am a bougie ass person. I love my Chanel, I love my Dior, I love to splurge the cash. Do you know what I mean then regret it later when I later in the month when I need something and I'm like, oh please. But you know. So that's literally what I am. So it's like saving this money to have an eighteenth is killing me. I swear to God, it's like the hardest thing I can think of right now. But the bit that's really peed me off about today is I was meant to have a driving lesson. Jimmy, and as we all know, they are not cheap. Definitely when you buy them in bulk. So I, I've got mine for my birthday. I've done uh, my birthday was the 8th of June. I've done two lessons. Jimmy, and I should have had three going on four now. But no. Every time. I'm like, come on, I've had to reschedule. She has not a thing for tomorrow. I have to do it next week. I'm like, come on, guys. I was like, stop messing me around. I was like, no one else would take this. So I'm not going to be taking it much longer. Next time they say, can you do this? I'm going to go, no. Do you know what I mean, guys, if this ever happens to you, literally stand up for yourself. Joe, don't be scared of what you're going to say. Because they're just idiots. Just be you, do you know what I mean? Don't let anyone mess you around, take advantage of you. Uh, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, I've, I got down to, like, I live in Anfield. Like, if you guys live in Liverpool, you know, I went, live in Anfield and I travelled to the city centre, which, it's not that far, but on a Monday. Do you know, like, my Mondays are when I relax, I upload, I do anything I need to for the beginning of the week, because I don't start working till a Thursday, and they change and they mess me around. I'm like, come on, guys. I was like, you can't do this. So, just, you know, guys, never let anyone do that to you because if they say, oh, you have to do this, go, no, I've got something. I need, I have got this planned. I've had it planned for a long time. Don't be giving up your plans. Like, if it's, if, do it once or twice, but if it's happening more, like, regular, on a regular basis, don't be taking advantage of it there, love. So, guys, that was basically my rant. <laughs> I'm sorry about me ranting. At least I didn't swear, which I am so happy about. Lighting. Oh, my God. Lighting. There we go. Lighting. <sighs> but, anywho, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!